All right, we have another case here. Looks like we're replacing tooth number 31. Uh, uh, just as a point of note, when you're replacing tooth number 31, one of the first things that I think about is access. Uh, certainly, remember, we have the length of the implant, the extra 10 millimeters for the surgical guide, plus the length of the handpiece. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to get back there. So one of the things we always want to keep in mind uh, on uh, molar, first molars and certainly second molars is uh, the ability to open the mouth and get all our guided uh, kits back there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. And uh, what we have here, let me go ahead and duplicate our plan. And uh, if you notice that I'm unable to duplicate it right now, in fact, I'm unable to really change anything. So what would the reason be for that? Uh, as you can see here, my implant license is, hasn't been requested. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the implant button. My implant button is requested, and now I have the ability to make changes. We'll go ahead and duplicate our plan. And again, I like to call it T-Bone. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now we have a duplicate plan. So this way I can refer back to the original plan and then make any changes I want without losing that plan. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and go through our checklist, um, mesiodistal, and what we're looking at here is is the one, a couple of things. One, are we centered in between the adjacent teeth? And more importantly, do we have enough space uh, in between uh, the implant and the teeth? And uh, one of the things I'm noticing here is we have a drawing right here. So that's great, but my bigger question is why would we have a drawing there when we can very easily use the safety zone of the implant? So let's just go to View, Customize, and go to Implant, and we can see our safety zone is set at one and three quarters. So, you know, let's just go with Ideal here and just make everything two millimeters. And now, instead of having to draw our distance, we can just use the implant as our ability to... Um, move it around here. So, so there we can see uh, we easily have the two millimeters of space. So let's go ahead and kind of move this back here okay, to back to where it was originally. The uh, second thing is buccalingually. Now, if we take a look here, uh, this is one area that I'm a little concerned about is one, uh, are we centered in between the roots? We have a lot of space here on the buckle, but very little space here on the lingual. Now, again, this is not gonna perforate, but anytime we get thinner, do we do have to keep in mind a couple of things. One, that our drill will be longer than the implant. So uh, again, our drill will be looking something like this. So it'll be a bit longer than the implant. And as that drill gets closer, remember it's gonna have a little V on the end of it, okay? Uh, as we get a little closer, are we gonna perforate that area? Is it gonna cause any problems for us? So we're, we gotta keep that into mind. So uh, again, if I were to center this a little better, I would probably look at something like this, okay? And that would probably bring us a little more centered. So let me go ahead and undo uh, this, and let me just delete this plan real quick, remove it, say yes, and then let me go ahead and duplicate the plan again, because I wanna come back to it, okay? So um, you know, again, what I would like to do instead is probably bring that a little bit more like so. And now we have adequate space on the lingual and still have adequate space there on the buckle. Uh, the next thing we look at is bone level. So to do this, what I always like to do is just kind of mentally, visually outline what it is we have. And I can see here that our bone looks something like that. Okay, so um, in looking at that, we can see that we want our implant to be about this level, which is pretty good. Uh, one of the concerns I have is right here, maybe that's gonna stick out a little bit. So to fix that, we can just gently tilt that to the lingual, and now we're gonna have a little bit more bone around that area. So just again, to give us an idea of where that is, uh, vital structures. Now certainly anytime we do a lower molar implant, vital structures are vitally important. Uh, the good news is we have our nerve has been mapped pretty accurately down here at the bottom, and we've got plenty of space. In fact, we could even consider doing an 11 and a half millimeter implant here, avoiding the nerve, but then the bigger question becomes this lingual concavity right here. So let's go ahead and go to a 10 millimeter implant. I think that's more than adequate. Uh, the next two things I want to look at were the pretty, uh, you know, more obvious mistakes to me. Uh, let's take a look at our occlusal plane. And uh, what I'm looking at with this is I would like to see our implant. What I like to do is visually draw a line just like so. 
and we can see that our implant is, you know, a, a couple of different things. One, we are uh, tilted this way. I, I would like to see us not have that offset. So to me, we need to uh, probably tilt our implant a little bit more like that. And if you notice, as we tilt that, now our occlusal plane, instead of tilting up, we probably have a more normal curve of speed as we would expect. But obviously in doing this, you know, we can see we're hitting that adjacent tooth. So, you know, it presents, it, excuse me, wow, it presents a little bit of an issue there. So what I would like to do real quick, uh, that presents an issue that we just have to correct. Now I'd like to go back to our original plan so we can kind of get an idea. And again, if we were just to compare it, we can see that, you know, these teeth shouldn't be, shouldn't be. Again, sometimes clinically they are. So in that case, this plan would be correct. But again, typically we shouldn't see it look like that. We should see it look more like what I outlined earlier. Again, remember this is the original plan unaltered. So now uh, our next thing is to look at the occlusal table. And to do so, we just take the axial view here and go. And right here is the opportunity to take a look at uh, where this implant is, is exiting. So what I would like to do in this situation is kind of bring this out here. Let's bring our drawing up. And again, I always like to use these drawing tools just to kind of show you mentally what I'm thinking here. Right, so there's a lingual outline. Here's the distal of tooth number 30. Here's the mesial of tooth number 30. Two, and then if we were to draw a line here and here, I would say that this is where we'd like to have our implant coming out at. And again, in this particular case, we can see our implant is coming out to the distal and to the buccal in this particular case. So in an ideal world, we want to have this implant centered right here. So this yellow circle should be where my green circle has been drawn to kind of give you an idea of what it is we're looking at. So uh, it gives us an idea of where we want to do, where we want to get to, so we need to adjust it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to our plan that we've been messing with. And what we've done here is we've leveled the occlusal plane. We've adjusted the mesiodistal positioning. We've adjusted the buccal lingual positioning. So as we're going through, now let's take a look at our occlusal table here. And again, we draw a line here, here. We can see that we're quite to the distal. So to fix that, we simply need to translate our implant over. And in doing so, now we're getting pretty close to this adjacent root right here. And just again, what I would like to do is, I always like to visually, I don't necessarily mentally, always, I visual, mentally draw these, I don't actually do that all the time. I just like to show you what I'm seeing that represents our root structure. So we want to make sure our implant, and we can see right here our box is too close to that. So we need to make sure our implant is at least right there. And now we can see that this plan is going to hit this adjacent tooth. So now we have to make the decision to compromise away from being more accurate with the occlusal plane. And now I will tilt the implant. And in doing so now we're more centered here. So just like so. And again, if I were to take a closer look here, I would say that we probably need to be just a hair like so. All right. So I would say that this is now a pretty darn good plan. The last thing I would like to do here is just, um, just take a closer look at this like so. Uh, one of the things I'm noticing right here is as I'm going up, it looks like our patient may have been positioned a little bit crooked in the scan. And I'm wondering uh, how that would have happened because as you see when I do a slice on the axial view, we can see how our slice is tilted quite a bit. So there's a good chance our patient was put into the machine crooked. So um, you know, I, I would definitely, uh, I spent a little bit of time with my team going over that, uh, making sure that they're putting it ideally. So because of that, I'm not able to kind of look at what I want to look at there. So uh, no big deal. So uh, 
looking good so far. You know, I, I you know, I want to think that this is tilted a little bit to the lingual. I, I don't like how it's hitting the outside the lingual of this tooth, uh, but I do have some questions about whether or not we were putting to the machine properly. And in looking at this, we can also see right here how we're hitting the lingual. So more than likely, this probably needs to come a bit like so. That is probably more of the ideal placement for this particular implant. So, and we can take a look here. We can see we're centered. I, you know, it looks like we're a little bit too buckled though. So I would probably just bring this, go ahead and bring this back just like so. And now we're lined up with the central groups. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Um, and thank you for sending the case. And if you need any additional help, I always look forward to the cases. Thank you very much.